I like free, I like simple, and I like to save time. So in this video, I'm taking a look at seven websites that cost absolutely nothing to help you save time as a part of your day. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And let's jump right in with editing a PDF document. Now the first one we're looking at here is something called PDF Escape. Now what I am needing in many cases is the ability to add fillable fields to existing PDF documents and PDF escape is great for this purpose. You can either use the online version or the desktop version, but we're going to keep everything online for today. So I'm going to select free online. Now in this case, I'm going to upload a PDF document that I've already created on my computer. All I need to do is come here and choose that given file. Here it is. I'm going to upload it to PDF Escape. And at this stage, I can edit it and add things in a variety of ways. But what I'm really after is a simple and quick way to add fillable fields. Here, I've created a homework assignment, and I want my students to be able to answer right here within the PDF document. So all I need to do is come up here to the Insert tab, and I'm going to select Form Field. Now I can choose if I want to add a checkbox, a radio button, drop down. What do I want to add here? Well, in this particular document, I want to add a paragraph. So I'm going to select text paragraph and then hit the select button. And now I can just click and drag with my cursor the area where I want them to be able to provide their answer. So I want them to, you know, answer in a short paragraph form here. If I want to duplicate this, all I need to do is right click and hit duplicate. Now I've got the exact same size, which is great. So it's nice and uniform. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to hit duplicate and I've got my third answer down below. Now I can continue to add things if I want, but in this example, I'm just going to leave it at these three things here. On the left hand side, I'm going to click this download, save and download icon. It's going to download it to my computer and I'm going to open it up here and look at this. Now I've got a fillable fillable field ready for me to use and I can send this out to my students. A great website which is absolutely free and easy to use. Next on our list has to do with finding customer service faster and getting the results that you need and hopefully maybe even speaking to a live customer service representative. How much time have you wasted going to websites trying to find their toll-free number or to get in contact with customer service? Well, get human Com cuts that time down drastically. So in this case, I'm going to type in something like PayPal, for example. I'm going to see if I can get some customer support when it comes to PayPal. What this does is for any company that you type into that search field, it's going to give you its customer service number so you don't have to go searching for it itself. It's also going to show you the current wait time, how long your average wait is and the current wait. And if you want to, you can skip by calling and get the call back right away from this screen. So this is a fantastic way to get to exactly what you're looking for, all of the relevant information here that you need. In fact, if you're wanting even more targeted help, it's even going to show you some of the most common things that people are asking and provide you with a quick solution. So a great way to find the service and the support that you're after. Now, the third free service on my list today has to do with creating content or creating catchy titles. Now, this goes more than just if you are writing a blog or creating videos. Think of a presentation that you may be giving. Think of a headline or the title of a web page or a website or something else that you're creating. Well, Headline Studio is a service brought to us by CoSchedule. And what this does is it analyzes your headlines and gives you some great feedback telling you if you should improve it, how you can improve it, and how it can stack up against other headlines. So let's take a look at a few examples here. Let's say if I say uh, these websites are great. What if I think that that's going to be a great title? Let's see what the headline analyzer has to say. Well, in this case, it's giving me a score of 52, which is really not that great because this score is out of 100. It's telling me that, you know, I probably am using too few words. I don't have a great word balance. And it goes into a lot further description and details as to what all of these figures actually mean. Let's see if we can improve this a little bit. In this case, I'm going to say, um, how about uh, seven websites 
Seven websites that you should use today. What about that? Is that a better headline than the first one that I typed in here? Uh, a little bit. It says 59. What if I take a slightly different approach and I say five reasons why you should stop using these websites? How about that? What's that going to give me for a score? Hey, that's quite a bit better. 79 as my headline score. So it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to use this for for my next video or blog or whatever content that I'm creating. But this can be a great start and it's an absolutely free tool. So I can read through this data, I can look at some of the other suggestions that it gives as I try to craft the ideal title or headline for my content. The next website on our list is all about email, especially if you need an email address to sign up for a newsletter or maybe to access a particular tool, but you don't want to be inundated with all of the marketing and all of the other email that you're going to be receiving from that website. So this website is called 10 Minute Mail, and the idea around it is that it gives you a throwaway email address, something that you're only going to use for the next 10 minutes or so. So here you can see I've been given this temporary email address, which looks rather nasty, but it's going to work on almost any site. So all I need to do is copy this email address and use it to sign up for a new application or a newsletter or to download a free guide. And what I will do is I will actually receive that email right here on this page. So I can access the information, I can download the links or the files that are sent to me, but after those 10 minutes are up, I would no longer have access to this email address. I can move on and be sure that I receive nothing in my actual email account. So this can be great if you're just needing a quick email address. Maybe if you're testing out a service, you can use 10 minute mail for those purposes. Now the next free website on our list might just save you the most time of all. At nanite.com, what you're going to see is a selection of applications, applications that you know and love. Now the purpose of this site is really when you are setting up a new computer, whether you've purchased a new computer, you've acquired a new computer, and you know how time consuming it is to start from scratch and you have to download and install or update all of the applications that you're already using or you know you will use. What Nanite does is give you a list of some of the most popular applications. So for example, let's say I'm setting up a new laptop and I'm going to say I want both the Chrome and the Firefox browsers here. I want to use AVG for security. I definitely want Zoom and Skype. And maybe I'll just select a few other things such as paint.net and maybe a document reader as well. Now you can select as many of these files and applications as you like and the very next step is to say get your Nanite and what you're going to receive is a custom installer updater meaning that you'll just have one file which will allow you to install all of these applications at once. You don't have to go from each and every site first to Chrome then to Firefox then to AVG. You can do it all in one page all in one screen and get you started with that new machine or that new, new computer that much faster. Next up on our list is a website that I use all of the time when I am researching new applications and new software for my business, either on my behalf or for someone else. And it's called G2, formerly G2 Crowd. What G2 does is that it gathers reviews, real user reviews from a variety of different software. So for example, let's say that I'm interested in learning more about ClickUp. I'm going to click on this ClickUp icon here and I can see that there's over 3,000 reviews for ClickUp. So I can either read those reviews here on the left hand side, but I can also look at the other ratings and breakdowns that it gives. I especially like the ClickUp comparisons. They have these comparisons for almost every piece of software that it reviews. So I can see how ClickUp is going to compare to some of these other options. But you can also look at things in different categories. So for example, if we click on project management software, 
Now it's going to gather all of the project management software together so I can compare and see how they rank against one another. So for example, if I want to look at the ratings here on G2, I can see that Monday, Trello, ClickUp, and Asana seem to be near the top of the list. But of course, I can dive in that much deeper and click on how does this rate on quality of support versus ease of use and everything else that is important to me and to my team. Even if it's a much more obscure piece of software, chances are you will find it here on G2. Now, sticking with software, sometimes when you find the ideal software for you, you realize that it costs an awful lot more than you were prepared to pay. And that's where Alternative 2 comes into play. You'll find it at alternative2.net. So for example, Adobe have a wonderful suite of many different products, but they're also very expensive. So if I'm interested in using a Adobe Photoshop, but I really want something that has almost all of the features, maybe even more features than Adobe Photoshop, but I want it for free, I can click on Adobe Photoshop or use the search bar up here and find out what it suggests for me. Here you can see that each of the alternatives are ranked by like. So the very top one here is something called GIMP, something that I have used many times in the past as well. I can click on that link and I can read more about what this particular piece of software does and I can even go directly to its official website. So now I can read the further details if GIMP is the right product for me and to see if it will be a great replacement for Adobe Photoshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I would love to hear from you next. What are some of your favorite websites that help you save time? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you subscribe right here to the Simple Tivity channel. And remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.